Hi guys, it's a full upper body workout today. We're gonna hit all your major muscles in your upper body. Chest, back, thighs, tries, shoulders, we're gonna get it all with bands. So start your dynamic warm up. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. Try to keep it, try to keep it quick. You know, <laughs> sometimes I'm not so quick and I'm gonna try to keep my demos quick today as well. Using bands and we're gonna do zero impact cardio, we need to keep the workout moving. We want to keep those muscles under tension. We're working on long lean muscles today, but that doesn't keep the heart rate up. So we're going to try to move quickly between the exercises. That being said, when I show you something, like I always say, go ahead and grab it. If I'm showing you a band exercise and it's on the door, go ahead and move over to your door. Be ready to work. Okay. Uh, today's exercises, I'm going to demo only in bands, but know that you can always sub out and do dumbbells. If I'm showing flies with bands, and you don't have the bands available, you can always use dumbbells. As far as the bands to have, I would have a variety out and ready. Sometimes we use bands that have no um, handles on it. Feel free to use that, that type. I will probably be mostly demoing the ones that do have the handles um, and have your loop band available. The other thing is, if your band set came with a piece of equipment to put over the door, so that you could attach it to a door, have that available. If it did not, you can always use your handle for that. Megan and I have done that a thousand times. You just put the handle on the other side of the door, close the door, attach your band here, and then it stays. Okay, um, we are going to do, start with a cardio, a low impact cardio, and then we're gonna move into sets. We're gonna superset two exercises in each one. We're gonna use opposing muscles so that one muscle group will get a rest while the other muscle group is working and I'm gonna walk you through it. So grab your, your goodies here, all of your bands, and meet me back here. I'll get you warmed up if you didn't get finished. We're gonna start with a quick low impact cardio. Okay, we are gonna hop right in here because I have this workout completely timed to get me right to 50 minutes, so we have 10 minutes for stretching. So we're gonna start with those mountaintop squats. You're down, reaching straight up, and coming right down to the other side. If you can get the whole way down to touch the inside of your foot, that's great. If you need to tap your calf, that's fine. But tempo is your friend. Low impact, tempo is your friend. We're doing 2010, so I'll have to be pretty speedy in between whenever I show you what's coming up next. So get ready. She's gonna count us down here. Uh, remember, speed is your friend. You can go faster than I am probably, because I'll be talking. Keep that core nice and tight, and start. Tempo, arms all the way up. Squatting those legs down, trying to get low, that's gonna get that heart rate up. Great job. We're gonna hit it hard here, try to get that heart rate up with zero impact so that once we start the workout, we won't have to do as much as far as cardio. <laughs> you have to do as much, but just as far as cardio, we're doing tap back kicks. Three, two, two one. We're gonna do one side. We're only doing 20 seconds. Hard to switch, so we're just gonna do one side for the full 20. We'll hit the other side then. These are going to be your cardios during the actual workout. So you'll see the first five of these a couple of times. Three, two, one. Great, we'll hit the other side. Speed and tempo Three, is so important two. for low impact. But what's it's awesome so is that you can still get your heart rate up with zero impact. Sometimes it's nice to give your muscles and your joints a little bit of a break, no matter what your age. But <laughs> for Megan and I, we're starting to contemplate that more. <laughs> break. All right, that one leg jumping jack. I'm down in a squat, one leg comes out, hands come up and touch, back down, other side. And start, down. Grabbing those hands at the top helps. So does extending the arms. If I keep my arms in or just above my head, it's a little bit more of a modification. Three, two, one. All right, we have boxing. I don't care what you, which one you do. If you do corner to corner, up and down, side to Three, side. Two, one. And start. Exercise one. I'll do up and down on this one. We're gonna do one side, and then we'll do the other. Awesome job. I'm gonna get that heart rate up. Three, two, one. 
Try to nice. keep that core nice and tight on these. Hit the left side now. Today's workout, we're gonna do one-sided um, start one. and exercises two for two of the sets, which is really good for your muscle and that neurological connection with your muscles. So we're gonna do Three, some unilateral two, exercises. Yes. Next we have knee ups. And um, then we'll do some Three, together two, exercises or bilateral exercises. Exercise one. Keep that pace going. Remember, keep that back flat. Don't let it brown. Good opportunity to work on keeping that course tight. Three, two, one. Break. Rest. To the other side. Ooh. Arms Three, moving, two, legs moving. One. Heart rate should be Exercise up. Exercise one. Remember, speed makes a difference. Great job. Almost done. Three, two, one. Okay, we have air squats next. So we're just squatting and up, but think speed. We want to try to get a lot in. Three, Use those hammies two, and quads to pull one. down and push up. Exercise one. Speed, fast, fast, fast. Air squats fast. Great job. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, next yes. we've got those downhill skiers. I reach up, I'm hinging, my motion is hinging, my knees are soft, I'm looking Three, at the ground. It's two, speedy. One. So up, Exercise down. One. It's a dynamic motion. Oops. I probably shouldn't go on my toes right now. My balance is a little off. Think about your skiing. You're really Three, trying to two, win the race. Rest. Break. And now we've got squat, knee to hand. After that, we're going to jump right Three, in to our first two, set. One. Squat, Exercise one. knee to hand. Again, the lower you go, the faster you go, the more we'll get that heart rate up. This is it. Three, two, one. Awesome. Grab your band, grab a mat, and we're gonna get started. Okay, so for this one, we need a two band, and I'm going to use for my rows a loop band, but feel free if you'd rather just use the two band for the rows as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get on our knees. I'm gonna have that band right underneath my, my ankles. You can have your feet like this or this. I'm going to get up. I wanna make sure that I'm not putting a C in that back. I'm squeezing those glutes and keeping that back nice and straight. I'm straightening up both arms. Then one of my arms, is going to come down. I'm gonna bring it down. Now I will stay with the band as opposed to dumbbells. A lot of times we say break that 90, but sometimes when you get down here, there's no tension. We wanna to try to keep tension on that band. So I'm gonna break mine right about here and take it all the way up. Um, if it's too much tension on that stationary arm, it's, it's fine to bring it down. I'm gonna to try to keep mine up the entire time using one arm, then that one goes st static, and then the other arm. Then for rows, we're gonna use a loop band, but if you'd rather use that two band, feel free to wrap that two band around your feet. I'm going to actually use two loop bands. So I have them already on my feet. I'm gonna pull one back and keep it in a static hold right here. If you only have one band, just switch it over. I'm sitting up nice and straight. My shoulder blade comes back down in its pocket and I'm gonna bring it back and pause. Same thing like I said, up here I don't feel much tension. I'm gonna to try to keep it back pretty far, all right? And then at, at the um, countdown, I'll just switch arms. All right, and that is paired with mountaintop squats. So we're just down, straight up, and down. You have 10 seconds in between the exercises, so you gotta be speedy. But switching sides, it's, there's no break. You're gonna do right side, right into left side. 
Once we do the first set, you'll understand. So grab those bands for that tricep, and we're gonna get ready. Get those under your legs, make sure it's one that works for you. Arms straight up overhead, and I'm gonna hit it here. Ready? Three, two, one. one. So arms straight up overhead. Try to make sure that that elbow is going straight up. Ask yourself, do you have any kind of a C in your back? We are gonna burn this muscle out here. We wanna really, we're not using heavy weights, so we wanna feel the burn from the bands. Starting to feel it. Three, two, one. Stationary one, now on the other side. So the left side's going. I'm keeping this arm up if I can. If it's, if it's really bothering that tricep, drop it down. Really think about keeping that, those glutes um, engaged, that belly button pull back towards your spine. You don't wanna get a C in your lower back. One, break. Rest. All right, so that was tricep. We're not gonna use tricep again. Now we're using back and by. So I've got two loop bands I'm gonna use here, but feel free just to use one. One, right, two. I'm pulling back. Think about shoulder blade back in its pocket. I'm not gonna let it go the whole way back up. I wanna keep this back under tension. I'm thinking about like squeezing a pencil between my shoulder blades. I think this one's a tighter one than the other one, so I'll have to try to remember that the next time around. Almost there. If you only have one band, switch it, and we're starting on the other side. So if you have two, just hold it in a static hold. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Now when we finish this exercise, we're gonna have 10 seconds to stand up and get ready for that mountaintop squat. Great job. Almost there. Three, two, one. Great. Now we'll repeat that whole set again. We're gonna hit mountaintop squats here. You'll feel your triceps Three, and back a lot more this time. One. And start mountaintop squats. You're gonna feel those triceps a lot more the second time. Second time through, we're still doing one arm. I'm gonna get that heart rate back up. Bands don't tend to keep them up, so we wanna help your heart a little bit. Elevated heart rate helps your mind. Three. Two, helps your endorphins. Four, Break. Yes. Set two. All right, set two. Grab that band, get ready for those triceps. Try to get it even. Two, one. Arm straight up. One. I'm moving my right arm. Squeeze those glutes. You're getting a little bit tired, and I know you're gonna wanna let that back arch. Don't let the back arch. Keep that elbow straight up. Now, if the second time you're like, whoo, holding that arm up is a lot. Feel free to drop it down. It definitely uses that tricep a lot more. Almost there. Three, two, one. Switch. Left one. Definitely feeling it. Should be. Try to keep that elbow straight up. Core is tight. Belly button pull back. When she counts us down, we have 10 seconds to get into that, um, row, either with the two band or with the loop band. Maybe this time I'll Three, do the two band with you. Two, one. Break. Rest. If you're doing the two band, I'm going to do two band with you this time. I'm going to do this one though, because it's a little bit Three, heavier. You're two, going to want to grab up nice and close, right, sit two. back, pull back and squeeze. You got to grab it up nice and close or you're not feeling it. If you're doing this and you don't feel it, Come up, grab it a little closer, pull back. Great job. This is also a good opportunity to work on sitting straight up. If you feel yourself hunching, it could be a little bit Three, of mobility. Two, one, Switch, one, two, so this arm's straight, and now we're pulsing back that other arm. 
I'm thinking about shoulder blade back in its pocket. Squeeze a pencil behind that shoulder blade. This is our last one for doing each arm. The next time we go through, we're gonna use both arms at the same time. Really think about squeezing those back muscles. That rear delt is working, those biceps are working. Three, two, one. Woo, we got those mountaintop squats. Okay, just forewarning you, we're gonna do it one more time, these mountaintop Three, squats. But if two, you get done, one. Cardio. Start. If you get done this next set and you're feeling winded, really winded, skip the last cardio. If not, you can do it right along with me. Try to get your pace going. Now remember, next time we do those triceps, we're doing both arms same time. Almost there. Three. All right, I'm already here. All right, last set of these. I will say, both at the same time, so up and down. It's gonna feel a little different doing both arms as opposed to one. Squeeze those glutes. Don't get the C in the low back. Triceps should be feeling it. Great job. Almost there. Make sure you're breathing out as you push up. Three, two, one. Break. Rest. And I'll go back to these both arms, same time. Oops. Three, two, one. Shoulder blades and back in their pocket and pull back. Don't let it come the entire way up. We want to keep those back muscles, those rear delts, all that under tension. Great job. After this, this is the one, this is your optional cardio. <laughs> the last one. Three, two, one, rest. We're gonna hit this cardio again. If you're totally winded, skip it. If you're a little winded, Three. Just slow down the pace a little bit. One. Last time here. Then we'll move on to set two. Great job. Really amazing how you can get that heart rate elevated with zero impact. Awesome job. Keep pushing, you got it, you got it. Nice and strong, nice and speedy. All right, I'm gonna to try to do this next set in one minute. Okay, we're doing bicep curls and side raises. You may need different size bands for these, so have them both available if necessary. You're gonna stand on that band. For the bicep curls, I pull those shoulders back, pin those elbows, and I'm curling up. When I come down, I wanna stop about right here. Down here, there's not much tension with the band. Remember what we talked about? So I'm here to here, squeezing at the top. Now, if I don't feel a lot of tension, I can grab it down further. Also, stepping out puts more tension on the band. Uh, the other one is going to be side raises. So, standing on the band, squeeze those glutes. I'm raising out to the side, slow on the way back down. On both of those, first set, one side. We'll do one side, then the other side. And our cardio is gonna be tap back kicks. Okay, so grab those bands, whatever bands you think you need, have a variety available, and um, in case you need to switch, especially for this one. And get ready, like I'm gonna switch back and forth. I'm gonna use a heavier band for my bicep because I'm pretty tall. So if I try to take that out to here, it's a little too much tension on my shoulder. Okay, so get ready. She's gonna count us down here. Three, two, one. And right start. Arm. Right arm, just right arm. So I'm keeping that core really tight because when you work one side, you have to think about a nice tight core so that you're not bending. Resist the urge to bend. Remember, we're keeping that side under tension. I'm feeling it a lot. <laughs> I think you probably will too. 
Keep that shoulder back. Don't allow that shoulder to round forward. Three, two, one. Switch right to that other one. side. I'm going to take it down, but I don't let it go the whole way down. Core is tight. My elbow is pinned at my side. I'm not letting it come forward or back. If you let it come back, it's, it's a little bit of a cheat. Now we'll have 10 seconds to switch bands. So you may need a lighter band for this next one. Almost there. Three, two, one. Great. Rest. I'm going to take a lighter band because for me, I'm tall. So the band's already under a lot of tension. Remember, Three, one arm at a time. Two, Tighten up that core. One, one, and start. Two. You're really going to feel it using one side. Feel it all the way down this side of my core. It's a really good core workout without any core. Great job. Try to control on the way down. I'm not letting it come the entire way down. I'm still keeping tension. Awesome. Almost there. Three, two, one. Switch sides. One, two. It's just about the last one I could do. If you can keep that without, um, keep a slight, slight bend in your elbow so that it's not locked out. If you lock that elbow out, you're going to put a lot of tension on that elbow. Try to keep that, that elbow just a slight bend in it. Control on the way down. Almost there. Three, two, one. Great. Rest. All right, we've got those tap back kicks. I'm going to tell you when it's halfway because this one's 30 seconds, so we've got plenty of time to Three, switch. Two, one. And start. Tap back okay. kick. Now, I don't know if you're like me, I'm already feeling it in my shoulders. My shoulders were a little sore whenever I started this workout, so I'm definitely going to be feeling it today. <laughs> already sore. Switch. Great job. Almost there. Two, one, rest, set two. All right, set two. We've got those bicep curls. So stand on that band. Three. Two, Try to get it nice and even and start. Right, one. right side. Should be feeling it a little more this time than you did last time. Great job. Keeping those muscles under tension. That's what we're looking for with this band. Nice little squeeze at the top. You're almost done with this one. I know it's burning. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Left one. If it wasn't burning, you need to grab it further down, closer to the source next time. Or switch your bands. <laughs> After 30 seconds, it should be burning. Awesome job. It's totally the opposite from dumbbells. Dumbbells, the hardest part of the motion is from here to here. But once you get up here, you'll know. Dumbbells, you don't really feel it. This is the opposite. Hardest part's up here. So it's a little different than using dumbbells. So that's why it's good to shake it up. Get yourself set. Try to get that set nice and even. Tighten up that core and start. Remember, don't lock that elbow out. Control on the way down, keep a slight bend in that elbow, and core is super tight. You should be feeling it right here. I am definitely feeling it. I've done it a couple of times. My alarm went off on my phone, so I um, had to uh, redo it. <laughs> Three, two. Woo! Okay, two. feeling it left side. Awesome job. Don't let it come the whole way down. Remember, down here, there's not much happening. You want to keep that, that delt under tension. Great job. Almost there. We've got those tap back kicks next. Next time we come through, we're going to do both arms same time. Three, two, one. Rest. We got the tap back kicks. I'll tell you when to switch. Start cardio. Great 
job. I don't know if I did tell you last time to switch. Actually, I started worrying about the timer and I might have forgotten. Switch sides. Remember, speed and tempo is your friend. This time when we do it, both arms same time. All right, set three. set three. Try to make sure that you are getting those bands, the three, same two, tension. One. And let's hit it, shoulders Exercise back, one. squeeze. Woo, I'm already feeling it. Great job. Embrace the burn. Burn is good. Almost there. Got 10 seconds left on these bicep curls. Make them good. Keep going, you got it. Three, two, one, rest. Great job. Same thing on this one. Try to resist on the way down. Three, two, one. Try to get them even. Two. And start. I don't think I got them even at all. Don't take it the whole way down. Try to resist on the way down. Also, don't let that back arch. Almost there. I know you're feeling this one. Woo! My arms are going up as high as they were. Right? All right. Let's hit this last one here. Cardio, again, like I said. Slow the tempo or skip it if you need to. Start. And we're done with set two. If you're touching that toe in the front, you can also do this. It'll help get that heart rate up switch um, a little bit more. But your shoulders are probably feeling it. <laughs> so you may want to just do the reach. Almost there. Three. Awesome, set two down. We're moving on to set three. Okay, we're going to use this band in the doorway. So if you don't have that ready yet, stop me now and get, that, get some bands in there. You're going to grab this so that the band is on the outside of your arms, your thumbs are on the inside. The motion of this, I'll be facing that wall, but I wanna show you this way you can see. My arms are like, I'm gonna do a bear hug. They're slightly bent, you know, a very slight, um, like a soft arm, just like we do with flies. And I'm coming together. On the one side, I'm gonna try and hold one arm out and work just one side. If I need a break, I'll pull it back like this and just do that one side. Then tricep extension, I'm going to stand out so that those elbows are facing straight out in front of me. I'm gonna pull both arms out and then one arm is doing the work. As I pull back, that elbow is still facing the front, always facing the front. Don't let it pull down here. Don't let it go to the side. This is the motion, straightening out. Now, if you don't feel it at all, the way to make it more difficult, step away from the source. If you feel it too much and it's too difficult, step closer to the door, okay? I'm going to be facing this way. You um, just stand straight out from the door and also make sure that your band is even. If I did it like this, the way it is right now, this side's gonna get a lot more work. I wanna make sure I have those bands nice and even before I even start. Alrighty, let's get ready. Grab that band. Band is on the outside, thumbs in. All right, get ready. Two, one. Get that core tight, pull those arms in front. Now right arm is working, only right arm. Nice and tight, squeezing. Think about that chest muscle. Right now we wanna work the chest. So if I don't feel it at all, I wanna take a step away. If it's too hard, take a step back. You gotta find that happy medium where you can do the exercise and you feel challenged, but it's not too much of a challenge you're losing your balance. One, switch sides. Now, this left arm's gonna feel it and that right arm's gonna feel it because it was holding, or I mean just working. So as it's holding, you're gonna feel that right arm a lot more. Squeeze those glutes. Remember you're breathing out.
as you're pulling that arm in. Keep that core tight. This is a really good core one. Three, Almost there. Two, one. Amazing how much burn you can get in those chest muscles, right? All right, we're gonna get those arms ready. We're gonna put them straight out in front and we're gonna work those triceps. So get those arms right here. Pull them straight out in front. Now right arm is bending and down. That band's gonna come over your arm. Now, are you feeling it? If not, take a step away. If you're feeling it too much in your chest, drop that band down a little bit. Great job. Almost there. Three, two, one. Switch sides, so now the left arm's gonna work. Awesome. If you don't feel it, step away more. Really squeeze that band as it's out. Squeeze. Great job. I know you're feeling this one in your chest if you're keeping it stationary in front of you. It's a secondary muscle group for this, so almost there. Three, two, one. Break. Rest. Okay, we have those squats like jumping jacks, one legged jumping jacks. Three, two, one. So squat. Cardio. Try to get those arms up high and overhead for a more cardio effect. More of a modification. It's just gonna be a slight bend, arms bent. Great job. We're going back to those chest flies. Awesome. Hopefully you're going speedier than I am. I feel like I have a lot of arms and legs. <laughs> All right, back to chest flies. Mine got a little off-centered, so I'm straightening those out quick. Stand out, and right arm's working. Try to get your breathing in order as you're doing this part. Remember not to lock that arm. Keep that elbow soft. I'm really squeezing the chest muscles. It always surprises me how much I can feel this one in my chest without any weight. Three, two, one. Switch. Let's Left arm now. Great job. Same thing. Make sure that elbow is not locked out. Squeeze that core. You have to really fight the urge to twist open with this. I want my shoulder still facing forward. Just my arm is doing the moving. Three. Okay, rest. rest those arms a little bit. Now, if you didn't feel it last time, or I mean, if you didn't feel it and felt it too much in your chest, keep this elbow down, step out a little further, and just do one arm. This gives you the ability to put more tension on it, that tricep, and not feel as much tension in the chest so that you're working the tricep, which is what we really wanna work right here. So just keep that elbow back, and then you'll switch sides. Keep that elbow facing forward. Three, two, one. So this elbow Left comes down, two. this one's up, and then you can get a little further out. Now next time we're gonna do both arms. You really wanna focus on that tricep right here. Squeeze. Great job. We've got those jumping jacks. Is one like a jumping jacks next? Three, two, one, rest. One like a jumping jacks, then the next time we go through, remember we're gonna do both sides. My hair's getting crazy, so you know the workout's very good. Two, one, <laughs> Almost there. Cardio. Remember speed and tempo. I know you're probably thinking, wow, I'm already feeling this on my shoulders. Great job. Good way to get that heart rate up, get that metabolism burning. You're getting strength and cardio. Trying to make the most of your day. Three, two, one. 
Break. Last set here. We're doing fly at the same time. All right. Get those thumbs in towards each other. And start. Find your spot. job. Really control on the way back. Remember, resist the pull. You can burn more muscle or build more muscle that way. Three, two, one. All right. Yes. We're going to have that band above your shoulders. Get ready. We're going to pull those arms out straight Three, in front. Two, one. So arms are straight out. Exercise Get two. your spot. And then squeeze those triceps forward or those wrists forward. Keep those elbows facing forward. Woo, I feel it. Now we've hit triceps two times here already. So you know we're starting on our second round of everything. We've done a set of buys, a set of back. One. Right? Yes. Chest, shoulders. Tries we've hit twice, so now we're on our last two sets with the last ones, and we're Three, almost done. Two, one, last set of these. Go. Good way to get the heart rate up. Zero impact. Giving those joints a little bit of a break, but still utilizing the muscles, still getting the heart rate up. Awesome. You got it almost done. Three, two, one. Woo! Yes. Moving on to step four. Okay, for this set, we're going to take our bands from above the door or beside the door. We're going to take them down to the bottom. I like to sometimes put a weight over top of it. This is what I was saying so that if you have it on the side, it doesn't slide up and down. I've got two sets of bands here because the first one I can use a heavier one, the second one I need a lighter one. We're going to do hammer curls. So I'm going to pull away from this, put those shoulder blades back in, and I'm squeezing on the way up. Same thing, I'm going to stop right here and pull back up. I want to make sure as I do that when I keep that band under tension. That's the key. The further I stand away from the source, the more I'm going to feel that. And then the next one we're going to do is front raises. These bands may get twisted, so you'll have to work with that a little bit. Five maybe you need to. We're going to step away from the, the source as much as you, as you need. I squeeze those glutes, shoulder blades back in their pocket, and I'm pulling those bands forward. The same thing, try not to lock your arms. Remember, we're doing one side at a time. So we're doing front raises away from the source. Um, the hammer curls, front raises, and that's gonna be with knee ups, okay? I am going to try to keep my heavier band, which I use for bicep, to the outside, and keep the lighter band for those front raises to the inside. Squeeze those glutes. Right arm's gonna work first, so right arm. Control that. Find a spot that you're feeling the tension. Awesome job. You should be thinking, I'm surprised I feel this as much as I do. If not, step further back from the source. Almost there. Have those glutes squeezed. Three, two, one. Switch. Left one. Really squeeze at the top. Remember, you're not letting your shoulder round forward. Keep that shoulder back in its pocket. Somehow this band got a little bit looser. Awesome job. Remember that squeeze at the top. I kind of pause at the top. Now we're going to stand over top of the bands. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to drop those bands. We're going to grab the other bands. They're towards the inside. Three. Get those two, set. Right arm's going to go first. Right two. Squeeze those glutes. Right arm up and control down. Great job. Remember not to lock your arm. Also, don't let that shoulder come forward. 
Breathe out as you're pulling that band up. This should be working that front down. Awesome job. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Now we're doing that left. Slow and controlled on the way down. After this, we've got those knee ups. Try not to bring it the entire way down. I can still feel tension, depending upon how far away from we are from the source, is how far down you take it. But you can still feel the tension. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we have knee ups. I'll tell you when to switch. We want to get that heart rate up. Remember, this one you just modify by slowing down if you're really feeling it. Feeling good? Let's get that heart rate up. Let's try to really burn it out here. Switch. Be speedy on the switch. Great job. Keep that core tight. Even though you're doing cardio, still keep the core tight. Great. Set two. Bicep curl. So right arm again. Three, two, one. Step away from that source. Shoulder blades back and squeeze. Great job. Make sure that shoulder is not coming forward. There's always a tendency to let that shoulder round. Almost the end of this one. I'm feeling Three, it. Two, one. Switch sides. One. Woo! Just in the nick of time. <laughs> Great job. Really think about the squeeze at the top and the control on the way down. Awesome. Embrace that bird. Building long lean muscles here. Two, one. Break. Rest. Step around into that lighter band if you need the lighter band. Three, two, Squeeze one. those glutes and right two. raise that right arm. Try to keep that, that band under tension. Don't take it the whole way down. I'm really thinking about a nice tight core, especially on that right side. I don't want to be moving. Awesome job. Breathe out on the way up. Three, two, one. Should be thinking, one, two. by the time you get to the end of that, if you're stepping away from the source correctly, you should be thinking, whew, it better be ending soon. I can't do anymore. If you could keep going, you don't have enough tension in the band. I'm gonna step away from the, the source a little bit further when we do this on the last time. Almost there. Three, two, one. See? Rest. I know I checked because I was thinking, whoo, it better be ending soon. <laughs> All right, get ready. Two, one. Cardio. I love the apps. It's such a good way to get the heart rate up. No real impact. I love them. Nice little tap in the back. Keep it your speed and tempo. Switch sides. Dictate how high your heart rate goes. If you're feeling great, you can really kick it in. If you need a little bit of a break, you just slow it down. They're perfect for a low impact cardio. Break. All right, now you know this time. Both at the same time. So we're getting ready with those bicep curls. Shoulder blades Three, back in their pockets. Two, Squeeze those glutes. One. And start. One. Squeeze at the top. Don't let those shoulder blades come forward. I'm feeling a burn in those biceps. Got 10 seconds left, less than that. 
Almost there. Three, two, one. Break. Rest. All right. Front raises. You may need to stand a little closer to the source Three, because both two, arms are going forward this time. So you have to see two. and start. Control. Great job. Remember, control on the way down. And we'll pause at the top. You're almost at, done with set four. Amazing what a good workout you can get with just bands. Last set of cardio here. You control how you feel. Monitor how do you feel. If you feel really good, kick it in Three, right here. Two, one. If not, and you need a break, just take a break during this one. Try to really kick it in if you can, though. Only got one more set. Switch sides. Great job. Almost done with set four. You got it. Keep going. Keep your face, pace going. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, set five. This last set I left to the end because I figure you're kind of a master at this door concept now. So we're going to do a little bit of quick change here. So you have to kind of keep along with me. Remember on this, we always want these bands to be the same length or else one side's gonna get a lot more work. So try to even them up before you start. We're gonna do chest press. I wanna get my hands the same way. My palms are on the outside, my thumbs are together. I like this one with my, with it under my, um, on the inside of my arms, just like this. Some people like it to the outside. But we're gonna keep our elbows in nice and tight and we're just pushing straight forward. As I'm pushing forward, I'm really thinking about these chest muscles, squeezing that core, squeezing the glutes. And the motion is just this. You're going to pull this out, pop it right up at the top, shut the door. And on this one, we're gonna do a lat pull down. So the motion is going to be, I'm grabbing that band and I'm pulling down. I like to be up on one knee. And I will say, for me, I'm gonna have to grab it probably up a little bit more. But as I do this, that core is tight. I'm pulling out and down, just like that. My elbows are coming back towards each other. I'm squeezing those shoulder blades in the back. I'll switch knees each time. Remember, one side at a time. And that's gonna be paired with boxing. I'm gonna get this to the inside of my arms. Get that band nice and even. Three, Thumbs two, are in. One. Step away right and right arm. We're starting with that right arm. Arm comes straight out. I'm really trying to think about chest muscles. Squeeze it when I'm out. Tight core. Don't let myself rock back and forth. Looking straight ahead. Thinking chest press. Now, if I don't feel it at all, I can step further next time. Three, two, one. Switch sides. One. Now the left side. Now it's going to be a quick change, remember. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to turn back towards the door, open it up, flip it up to the top, and get down on one knee. You've only got 10 seconds. I probably should have given us a little bit more time on this one. Remember, you're breathing out as you push that band away from you, and you're controlling on the way back in. Three, two, one. Break. Rest. Take that band, open the door, zip it to the top. And Three, down on one knee. Two, one. Run I'm pulling two. back. Oh, oh, sorry, one arm. If you can pull that other arm back and keep it stationary for a static hold, that'll give you a little bit more work. I'm really squeezing that shoulder blade in the back on the right arm. Core is tight. Squeeze that elbow down and back. One. Switch One, and two. switch sides. I'm gonna pull that right arm back and have it be stationary this time as I'm working that left arm. Squeezing down and back. Really thinking about that shoulder blade. 
Now I will say, I was cheating this time a little bit. I let it come too far up. Hopefully you guys already knew. Three, and you two, weren't paying attention to one, me. Rest. It's a good idea to try not to let it go the whole way back up. We're gonna do boxing, you can do this one. You can do corner to corner, I'll do corner to corner this time. I'm down in that sumo, I'm going side to side. Remember, as always, speed and tempo. No impact, that's the, that's the way you change. Switch sides, how effective the cardio is. Faster you go, the more cardio you feel. Going right back Three. to those chest presses. One. All right, so to give you just a little bit of extra time to get this band on the side. We get that band on the side. Rest, set two. And get that band set the way you like it. If you like it on the inside or outside, we're gonna squeeze those glutes, stand far enough Three. away from the source that you feel it. One. And that close grip chest press. Slow on the way back in, try not to let it come the whole way back. Keep that under tension. Now my core, I really feel it right now. Hopefully you're feeling it on that right side especially. I'm gonna really think about a nice tight core. I'm really squeezing those chest muscles. Trying to think about, squeeze on the way out, pause on the way out, squeeze Three, the chest muscles. Two. Switch sides, left, one. left side. I think this one's a little bit looser. Must not have had them straight. I'm gonna step forward a little. Don't let that come the whole way back. Squeeze. Really keep that core tight. Now you should be feeling it on the left side. Breathe out as you push away and control on the way back Three. in. Rest. Rest. I did give us a couple more seconds. Give us a switch up to the top. Close it. I'm going to grab it up pretty high. I'm going to switch sides. Now I'm going to be up on my left. Three, two, one. Okay. Right. My left arm's going to come back and stay. My right arm's going to do the work. Now I'm not going to bring it the whole way up. Take it part of the way up and squeeze. I'm really thinking about squeezing that shoulder in the back. If you're not feeling it in the, sh in the back of your shoulder, in your um, back muscles at all, Three, two, think about one. engaging, switch left sides. Two. So now my right arm's holding, my left arm's pulling back. Think about engaging that shoulder blade and squeezing in the back like you have, like you're gonna crack a walnut. You can also go down to your knees and that will give you a lower angle. Sometimes people do better if they have a lower angle and they're not up quite so high. Squeezing in the back. Three, two, one. Right? Rest. All right, we've got boxing. This time I'll do the sumo up and down. Three, two, one. Sumo up and down. Cardio. Whichever boxing you want, it's totally up to you. I don't care, as long as you're getting your heart rate up, that's good stuff. Almost to the switch, switch sides. Great job, if you are doing the squatting up and down, make sure you're pulling those knees back. Don't let your knees come in. I can't show you my knees coming in and do the three, squat and the boxing. Two, I'm not that coordinated. Rest, Break. Three. All right. Let's flip this down to the side. I'm gonna pause it a second. Make sure you get it down. Get those bands straight. Get that band however you like Three, it. Two, Remember both arms, one. same time. Exercise one. You kinda of have to get your balance. Doing both. Don't let them come the whole way in. Try to keep those chest muster, muscles under tension. Awesome job. Control is the key. Three, two, one, rest. 
break. Let's flip it to the top. And grab up as high as you need. Left arm's gonna come back and hold. Right arm's gonna work. Oh, no, sorry. They're both gonna work. So squeeze both, squeeze in the back. Like I said, if you need more of an angle, feel free to go down onto your, your knees. I'm really squeezing those shoulder blades in the back. Sometimes it's a little easier to think about that, squeezing the shoulder blades when you're doing both on this one. Three. Because you can think about, oh, I'm squeezing something between the shoulder blades. Yes. Right? Got our last set of boxing. And then you're completely done. All five sets. Three, two, one. Cardio. I'll do corner to corner again. Finish strong here. This is it. After this, you get to stretch out. Switch sides. You've got 15 seconds left. Keep it up. Try to pick up your pace just a little bit. Great job. Almost there. Three, two, one. Yes. Awesome job. You finished your band workout. Grab one of your two bands and let's get stretched out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the band workout. I love to do those sometimes. All right, grab that band and let's just take your arms around. Try to take it around so that you feel that sticking point and you can keep your arms straight. If for some reason your band isn't stretching enough, you can't get it all the way around without bending your arms, just take your hands out a little further. If you don't feel anything, move your hands together a little more. Slowly take it down. Take it back over. Now we're going to go to the side and pull. We're going to focus on stretching upper body today. Switch side. The beauty of bands, like Megan and I have talked about many times, but the beauty of band, bands are that they're so practical and portable. Drop down. You can easily do this workout on a vacation, anywhere. I mean, the amount of um, equipment you need is so minor. Let's go over your mat and walk out. Let's get down into that tabletop. Let's separate those shoulder blades and rotate back down. We really like to give you guys options for low to no equipment, especially while you're working out at home. But then as we're getting into spring break and we're getting into summer, this is one you could do on vacation. Knees it out, lean back and walk those hands out. Really good one for that. Kind of keep this one in mind. Slide that arm underneath. Meg's got a bunch of good all full body or full band ones as well. And switch sides. The other thing about bands are that they tax your mus muscles and challenge your muscles in a different way than dumbbells do. Just like I was saying about that bicep curl. Walk those hands to the 45, bring the other arm over. The hardest part of the dumbbell, of our dumbbell bicep curl is the bottom part. It's once you cross that 90 degree switch sides um, spot, it starts to get a little easier. Where bands are the opposite. The, the easy part of a band, let's put that elbow in the ground and pull back, let's stretch out that tricep. The easy part of the band is the bottom part. The harder part is the top part. So you're working your muscles in a completely different way, pull back, than you are with dumbbells. Totally effective, but very different. Let's come back up to that tabletop and let's just work on mobility. So put that hand here, I'll start with this one. Put that hand behind your neck, come down, and without rotating your hips completely, open up that chest. Do three of those, open up your chest. Try to keep those hips pretty stationary and switch sides. You know, we really are very um, interested in keeping your mobility and flexibility healthy. Flip those wrists around. That is very critical to overall health. A lot of times, switch sides. 
once we start into a bad pattern of rounding your shoulders, sitting a lot, hunching our back, those muscles start to shorten. Flip that around again. And that's where we really get run into injury. It's just that chronic immobility that we have. Flip that to the other side. All righty. Let's just go down to the mat. Put that right leg out, put the left leg on top. Let's get that hip real quick. So flex that top foot, straighten out that back and move your hips in. Take a nice deep breath as you breathe out. Try to move those hips in just a little bit more. And switch sides. One thing to try to work on, let's put that foot up, flex that top foot, straighten up that back and move in closer. One thing to think about when you're doing your exercises too is trying to make sure you're breathing out on the exertion. And also, now let's take those legs to the side, grab a hold of your shins and reach across. We'll get those, that core. We used that core a lot today, even though we didn't, um, we didn't actually do crunches. Bring that elbow to the back. You should have been feeling it a lot. Doing one-sided exercises, especially with the band, challenges your, um, actually it's a lot of anti-rotational, which is really good if you have lower back issues, because a lot of times during rotational <laughs> movements, like bending over to pick something up, grab that left leg, grab the shins, that's where we run into trouble. And we end up where someone will say, pull um, that elbow back. Someone will say that they, you know, um, had a back injury whenever they just bend over to pick up the waters or bent over to pick up something. A lot of times it's that rotational motion and standing back up that causes it. Doing one-sided with bands, it's pulling you and you have to maintain that core. It helps you with that anti-rotational force. Um, let's pull those legs in, sit back nice and, nice and straight, open up those legs and lean forward. And it is a really good idea, pull that leg in, right leg's out, I'm gonna grab a hold of that right leg and lean across. It is a really good idea if you can pick up a set of bands, even if you have two sets of bands, put that elbow, that left elbow in your left knee and reach out with that right hand you'll be surprised sometimes. I have a double set of each one switch sides, so we'll reach across. And sometimes I like to have two of the same band because I will use that for an exercise that like, instead of using one chest press, putting one band and looping it through, you can just hook them up and pull back and stand away from the source. And then that way, you don't have to worry about the band slipping and being more on one side than the other because they're hooked over. So if that's an option, bands usually aren't that expensive. You could easily do that. Okay, let's grab your two band or your loop band. I think you're less likely to smack yourself in the face with two, the loop band. So grab that right leg and let's pull it back towards you. I'll show you what I mean at the end about those bands. <clears throat> pull that leg back. Take that foot to the outside. I am hoping we get some warmer weather here soon. Got a kind of a cloudy, yucky week. Hoping for something a little bit better this next week. Ankle on your knee, pull back towards you. Try to take that elbow and open that hip up just slightly. Foot down. Let that right knee fall to the right side. Now that right arm is going to come out and walk out and walk those fingers up just a little bit. I should feel a really good stretch in that chest, that front delt. So I'm gonna flip that hand up, palms up, and move that hand up just a little bit more. And I feel it in a little bit different spot, but definitely still a front stretch in that chest and that front delt. Goes a little deeper. Now switch and take that to the other side. We'll stretch out that psoas and then we'll do the other leg. All right, left leg up, right leg out. 
I know a lot of you guys are on vacation. We are on spring break this week. So hopefully you guys took your bands with you, take it to the outside, and you were able to work out with us today. Take it to the inside. Now drop that ankle on your knee and pull back towards you. Keep that elbow on your knee and you can stretch that hip out just a little bit more as you pull back. Take a deep breath, when you breathe out, pull that in. Put down, let that knee fall to the side. Now the left knee is on the ground. Put that, or sorry, that left arm out and walk that left hand up a little bit. Let's stretch out that left shoulder. Try to get that left arm out and as down as far as you can. Now flip that palm to the top so that the palm is facing up and walk that hand up just a little bit more. Feel a nice stretch in the front of that shoulder. Now reach your arms and legs out. Now bring those knees up. Put your hand on your chest and on your belly. This is what I was starting to say earlier. When you're doing the exercises, take a nice deep breath right now and see, is your chest moving? Is the hand on your chest or is your hand on your belly moving? We are looking for the hand on your belly moving. So if you're always feeling like when you're taking your deep breath, if you're using your chest, work on this exact, this exact exercise. When you're done with your stretches, put your hand on your chest and your belly. Work on making it a mindset to do that belly breathing and to use those muscles to do the breathing instead of chest. The chest has the rib cage that kind of um, eliminates or limits the about of air you can intake. So just try to think about using belly breathing. All right, let's take that right hand and walk it to the right shoulder. Bring that left hand up onto the elbow and pull to the side. Switch sides, left hand, left shoulder, and right hand's gonna grab a hold and pull to the side. And let's just reach out, pull back, look at that chest one more time, do that Y and that W. Awesome job today.